In this tutorial, we're going to run through the initial hardware setup, which takes you through the various cables and connections, but always remember to connect the power cable last. The Raspberry Pi is a tiny computer with a multitude of connections, so I'm going to talk you through those one by one. So the first thing we need to do is flip the Raspberry Pi over, and on the bottom side here we have the SD card slot. The Raspberry Pi uses the SD card to boot from. Now if we try and put it in upside down, it won't actually let us, so we have to put it label side up. So step one is to turn the Raspberry Pi over and insert the SD card into the SD card slot. So step two is to connect your Raspberry Pi to a television and you can do this using the HDMI port. So what we're going to do is take the HDMI cable which looks like this and with the flat end facing up we're going to insert that into the HDMI port. So step two is to position the HDMI cable flat side up and insert it into the HDMI port. So the third thing we're going to look at is the Ethernet connection, which allows us to connect to the internet. So if we take our Ethernet cable and insert that clip side down or flat side up into the Ethernet port. So step three is to position the Ethernet cable flat side up and insert it into the port. So this moves us onto the USB ports, which allows us to connect a keyboard and mouse and gives us control over the Raspberry Pi. So what we're going to do is insert those logo side up into the USB hub. You can also connect any form of USB accessory into here. For instance, a larger USB hub to increase the number of connections. So step four is to position the two USB cables and insert those into the USB ports. And the final and arguably most important step is to give the Raspberry Pi power. That's done using a USB power cable that's connected to this connection here. There is no on and off switch, so once this cable is inserted, it will give the Raspberry Pi power. So step five is to position the USB power cable and insert that into the power port. Once all that's done, you'll get a status light on the opposite side of the board. This red light shows that there's power going to the Raspberry Pi. So step six, check the red power light is on and enjoy your Raspberry Pi. 